we now have 3x squared equals 48. If we divide both sides by 3, we get x squared equals 16. We then get x equals plus or minus the square root of 16, which means x equals positive or minus 4. It is important to realize that x is a positive or minus 4 because positive 4 squared equals 16 and negative 4 squared equals 16. So that's our solution for the second triangle, y equals 4 and x equals plus or minus 4. We do have a couple of corollaries to the theorem we learned. In fact, each theorem has one corollary. The corollary to the base angle theorem tells us that if I have a triangle such that not just two but all three sides are congruent. So if the triangle is equilateral, then it is equiangular. The corollary to the converse theorem is very similar. And what this tells me is that if I have a triangle that is equiangular, then the triangle is also equilateral. Basically, if a triangle is equiangular or equilateral, then it is a regular triangle. meaning that it is both equiangular and equilateral. In example three, we're going to prove the corollary to the base angle theorem, which means we are proving that if we have an equilateral triangle, then it is equiangular. So we are given side AB is congruent to side BC is congruent to side CA. We want to prove angle A is congruent to angle B is congruent to angle C. Okay. We know that angle or side AB is congruent to side BC is congruent to side AC. That's given to us. We then know that angle A is congruent to angle C. We also know that angle A is congruent to angle B. And the reason for both of those is the base angles theorem. Because we know if we have two congruent sides, then the opposite angles are congruent. And again, two congruent sides then the opposite angles are congruent. We can then write that angle A is congruent to angle B is congruent to angle C. And this is the transitive property, which tells us that triangle ABC is equiangular. And this is the definition of equiangular. And that's it. Okay. For our homework, I want you to prove the corollary to the converse to the base angle theorem. So if you are given that triangle ABC is equiangular. 